Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca and today we're going to be talking about the drug Bethanicol. Today we'll be covering all of the topics you see below and you can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Bethanicol belongs to the cholinergic muscarinic agonist drug classification. To get a good understanding of how the drug works, let's break down the words in that classification. Cholinergic agonist means that it stimulates acetylcholine receptor sites. Acetylcholine is the main neurotransmitter involved in our parasympathetic nervous system, which is also known as the rest and digest nervous system. So, bethanicol stimulates or increases our body's rest and digest functions. The word muscarinic means that the drug is targeting the smooth and sometimes cardiac muscle in the body, such as the GI tract, the urinary system, or the eyes. The main effect that bethanicol has on the parasympathetic nervous system is the effect on the urinary system. Bethanicol is used to treat urinary retention by promoting urination. More specifically, bethanicol acts by increasing the tone of the detrusor muscle, which promotes bladder contraction and urination. To remember the side effects of bethanicol, it's important to remember how the drug works. So bethanicol stimulates the rest and digest nervous system and will affect other systems, not just the urinary system. Other rest and digest effects that bethanicol might provide are a decrease in heart rate and blood pressure, bronchial constriction, abdominal cramping from diarrhea, and so on. Now that we know that the side effects of bethanicol are related to the rest and digest nervous system, we can see that there will also be some contraindications to the drug. One example of this would be in asthmatic clients. Bethanicol will already constrict the bronchi, which is something that we definitely don't want to have happen in someone with asthma. Another contraindication is with clients who have peptic ulcers due to bethanicol's increase in gastric acid secretions. An increase in gastric acid would irritate those peptic ulcers. Bethanicol is also contraindicated in clients with gastrointestinal and bladder obstructions. If we increase the GI and urinary motility during an obstruction, the client may be put at a greater risk of complications like bladder rupture. Hypotension and bradycardia are also contraindications of bethanicol. It is good to know that if a client were to overdose on bethanicol, it is possible to reverse the effects by providing a cholinergic antagonist, such as atropine. Signs and symptoms of a bethanicol overdose include an increase in nausea and vomiting, abdominal cramps and diarrhea, excessive salivation, and urinary and bowel incontinence. Always remember to assess and monitor for side effects of bethanicol, watch for changes in blood pressure like orthostatic hypotension, and monitor client intake and outputs to ensure the effectiveness of the drug. If you have any questions about Bethanical, you can let me know in the comments, or you can visit rpnt.ca.